Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. A Southside couple says they paid thousands for credit repair, but the Chicago financial expert didn't fix anything at all. Morning Insider Tim McNicholas warns you do not need to cough up cash to help your credit. So he told, he told me he would charge me $1,000 for me and $1,000 for my husband. $2,000 sent via Cash App to a financial planner who works on the South Side. Last summer, he even texted her, your credit is good and you're ready to roll. But when she checked her credit score, Paula Harris says it hadn't changed. Do you so, think you're ever going to get your money back? I, I pray I do. I'm going to be hopeful for it. She was also hopeful on February 23rd, when after months of asking, the man agreed to refund Paula within 30 days. But 30 days came and went, and all Paula got was more stress. She's a nurse who's treated several COVID patients over the past year, and now she's helping with vaccines. You want something to go right. You want something to be going in your favor. It's, it's a lot of stress, it's depression, it's, you know, a darkness. It's, you know, where's the glimmer of hope at? Paula says she trusted the financial planner because a friend recommended them. Meet Wallet Hub. But experts with Wallet Hub say you should never pay someone to fix your credit. There is no quick fix for credit repair, right? It's kind of the same as a diet pill, right? You actually have to have a diet and kind of do the work to see results. The same goes for your credit. There are a few things you could do on your own. You could request your credit reports from Experian. Equifax and TransUnion to make sure there aren't any errors or discrepancies. If there are, you can dispute them with the agency. It's also important to stay up on your bills as much as possible to keep your score from sinking deeper. We saw a lot of credit repair companies target people during and after the Great Recession. We're seeing the same thing during and in this now time of, you know, maybe post pandemic. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. As for that financial planner, he told us this is all a big misunderstanding and he says he plans to make it right. For now, we've decided to give him a pass and not name him, but we will be following up to make sure this is all fixed. For more stories like this one, you can download our new app and look for the section called Morning Insider.